This week I'm going to show you how to make this cute Peppa Pig. What you need for this one are two pink 260s, one pink metallic heart, and one red 260. I'm using three Qualitex 260s and the metallic pink heart because the nozzle end is a little longer for Peppa's head. What you need to get started, inflate all three of the 260s with a five finger tail. Inflate the pink heart balloon down about two fingers. And you want your heart to be a little bit mushy so you can put the ears and the neck on. Okay, now let's take the red 260. To start, you'll want to twist off a cherry tomato size bubble or a one finger bubble and pinch twist it. To pinch twist it, hold it in the crease where you just twisted it, pull the knot up and turn it. Pull the knot hard while you twist it around. Then measure off a five finger bubble and then make two cherry tomato size pinch twists. Hold this down to this bubble and pull this one up and turn it. And make another one the same size. Pull up the bubble and turn it. If this starts to get tight while you're twisting, hold it in two places and squeeze even pressure. And now what we need is the little bubble coming down here in Peppa's dress. So for that one, make it about four fingers, a little bit shorter than this bubble. And then take it back up and make another four finger bubble and twist it right underneath of these two pinch twists. And now make a five finger bubble, a little cherry tomato size bubble and pinch twist that. Bring these down together and go right up on top of this and twist it. Then make another pinch twist. Twist these two together and then take this over to the other side. Make a pinch twist again. And if you want to, you can leave it like this, pop and tie this off. You can pop and tie that off. Or you can round it out with three bubbles at the bottom and bring it like this. And just pop and tie off a little end. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop this, take it down to where it's going to fit right up against this top pinch twist tie it so it's about the same length, maybe a little longer, and just bring it up and wrap it right into this pinch twist, right like that. Pick up your pink 260, make a cherry tomato or a one finger bubble pinch twist, just like you did on the dress, and then we're going to twist two loops around two fingers. So this is gonna go right around one finger, squeeze it a little bit up if it starts to get tight, and then wrap it again around two fingers, right like that. And now I'm gonna go up about three fingers and pop and tie that off. You can, um, you can cut it and reinflate it, it's up to you. And you can use more um, then one 260 it, in case it's hard to pop and tie off. But if there's air in the balloon, you should be able to just, um, I'm letting some air out here to tuck so I have room to tie it, but you should be able to just pop it apart if there's air in it. Okay. So pick up your ears once you break that off and tie this knot so the ear so the air doesn't get out of your uh, balloon so your ears don't deflate then pick up 
the remaining part of the balloon and we're gonna make the legs. So his legs are right here and those are about a five finger bubble. So twist off one five finger bubble and then go up about three fingers and pop that off and tie it. You don't have to do it that way. You can um, just blow up little pieces of your balloon. You can keep it uninflated, blow up about a five finger bubble and then tie it off and cut it up above and tie another knot like that and then reinflate the remaining balloon. There's different ways to do it. I'm gonna use the rest of this for the other leg and I'm just gonna measure the one leg, five fingers, twist it off, let that air out and then tie it. So here's the feet and I'm just gonna set those aside. I'll take your last 260 and we're gonna make Peppa's arms. Make three cherry tomato sized bubbles and pinch twist them. One. Two. Three. Right like that. Measure down five fingers. That'll be the middle. I'm gonna squeeze that up a little bit. Five more fingers. I just want this to be a little mushy because this is gonna get twisted around the neck part, the top of the dress. Now, twist three one inch bubbles or three cherry tomato sized bubbles and pinch twist them for Peppa's other hand. Twist it around. Break this apart. It snaps apart like cold silly putty when there's air in it. And we're gonna come up and leave um, a little bubble, about three fingers for Peppa's tail. I'm gonna leave uh, this uninflated part here and tie it up here because I wanna stretch Peppa's tail. And then I'm gonna squeeze the bubble back up and tie it up above. I'm gonna leave about like one finger of uninflated and tie it here just because I wanna stretch her tail up to make it curve. See where I knotted that? I'm gonna cut right up above that. So I have a little bit of space here. So now I can kind of fold the tail and squeeze it like that. To give a nice curve to the tail. So this could be her tail and I'm gonna set that aside. Now let's take Peppa's ears and the heart balloon and see this lobe. If your balloon is squishy like this, you should be able to hold it down and grab a lobe and twist off a bubble. A little bubble like that. And then take Peppa's ears and wrap that bubble around. Wrap it the whole entire way around. So it sits right like this. And now we want to wrap um, the neck around the top of the dress. So do the same thing. You're going to squeeze off a little bubble right like that. Try not to let the air go back out because it can weaken the balloon and then it can pop. So hold it right here and then grab these two pinch twists and turn it around. Now take Peppa's arms, twist them right in the center and we're going to wrap them underneath this two, these two red 260s. Just kind of lift up the red 260s, pinch twist. And 
put them on the side like that. But if you have a piece of balloon sticking up anywhere, you can knot it and you can cut it off right up above the knot. So see where this knot's sticking out? I'm going to cut that off right up above where it's tied. And now take Peppa's feet and do the same thing. Cut the remaining part off if there's a knot. So you have her two feet and you're just going to wrap them in underneath these two pinch twists on each side of her dress. And then take the other one and do the same thing. And you can cut the remaining strap piece of balloon off. So you have this. Now I'm going to show you how to draw on Peppa's eyes. Take a white edding marker. Or you can, you, you can also use white acrylic paint or a white Sharpie marker. And we're gonna draw two circles up here towards the top. So rest your hand on the balloon and then just draw a circle around and draw another circle beside it up just a little bit higher. And then we're gonna let those dry. Now let's draw Peppa's mouth. For that, it looks like a black banana. You just want to draw a little, a little line like this, a little curve, and then drop it down underneath, kind of like a moon. And then fill that in. Now it takes the white edding marker just a minute to dry. So while that's drying, I'm gonna draw Peppa's nose and around the eyes and around the mouth. So draw a circle over here. Or like an oval, sort of like an oval. I did this with a red Sharpie. And now draw two little red circles inside of that circle for Peppa's nostrils. Now I'm gonna outline the mouth and the eyes with the red marker. Now let's fill in the black pupils. Just draw two circles right in the center of the white round circles. Make sure the white marker is dry before you draw your circles in. You also can put little feet on the bottoms of Peppa's legs. And those are just black ovals. Now last, let's put on Peppa's tail. Just take your little curved balloon and wrap it into the side of these two red pinch twists on the side of her dress. You can swirl the red marker around a little bit just to make it look wiggly on her tail. And there you have your Peppa Pigs. I hope you like my videos. If you do, please like and subscribe, and I'll keep them coming to you every week. Have fun twisting, guys. Until next time.